feels good out here. Excuse me, sir. Can I have a word with you, sir? Who's there? I can't see you in the dark. Good evening, sir. I, I was wondering if you're in the mood for a little bit of entertainment this evening, sir. Entertainment? I'm sure I don't know what you're talking about. For sure you do. Entertainment. Uh, amusement, so to speak. Uh, a little diversion, if you know what I mean. I think I do know what you mean, and I'm not interested. Go on, be off with you. I should say you should have some more respect for a gentleman. Well, you've never witnessed such a thing, sir. This is once in a lifetime offer, you know. I... Oh, please, sir. You can't miss such a thing. I suppose you're trying to get me curious, are you? Just a little yourself? curious, you might be, maybe. You might want to know what it's all about. Well, curiosity is the nature of my profession. However, I do have moral standards and I do try to keep them elevated. Excuse me. Uh, I see what you mean, sir. Well, perhaps this was a little too much for a gentleman of your sensitivities. Wait! Got to with that one, didn't I? Well, I'm just a bit curious, mind you, old chap. But, uh, what exactly is this entertainment you're speaking of? Well, sir, how would you like to see a drowned man? I beg your pardon? A drowned man. A man with his lungs filled with salt water. Stung dead from drowning. How much would you pay to see that, sir? Hey, hate to see a drowned man. <laughs> Are you insane? No, but why should I want to see a man who's drowned? I mean, who would it do to see a, a drowned man? A, oh, heavens. Yo, oh, you're mad. Get out of here. Go on. Three rubles, sir. That's all it'll cost you. To see him first, then in the act of, of, of a horrible drowning, and in the grand finale. The man drowned dead. Rest his soul. Oh, good heavens. Drowned man. I don't know what you're saying, old chap. Well, would he be alive and well? As a matter of fact, he's stone bone dry, sir, standing before you. I'm the drowned man, sir. You? Are, are you saying you're the man who's drowned? You're trying to get me to pay admission to your own funeral, your own suicide? I am, sir. I must get away from this lunatic. No, 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 sir. You completely misunderstood me. I, I don't actually drown. I impersonate a drowned man. I jump in the icy water, I, I, I splash around a bit, I flail my arms up in the air, then I yell for help, then I go under, then bubble, 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 then I come up, head under, all puppy-like, you know? It's rules plain and simple like that. Three rules, individual performances, special rates, you know, for groups, you know? Show starts in two minutes. Oh, good grief, I can't believe I'm actually talking about paying admission to see a man drowning. It's not so <laughs> cheap. Real, sir. I mean, it, 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 it's a rich tableau filled with social implications. A drama, mind you. Uh, not tragic, but ironic in view of its comic, you know, features, of course. Wait, comic? What's comic about a man drowning? Well, I bulge up my eyes, you know, puff up my cheeks. I scream at the top of my lungs. <laughs> Sound like a squealing pig. I'm the only one in the waterfront who can do it, sir. Oh, heaven. Why would I want to pay admission to see an underwater pig squealer? <laughs> sir, I had a very good season last year. Sold out in August, I did. So what do you say, huh? Shall I book you in for tonight's dinner show? Dinner show? What do you mean, dinner show? Well, I, I jump in, I flail around a bit, then I throw you a nice fish. I think halibut will run in tonight, sir. Oh, good heavens. <laughs> I wish you wouldn't take so long to make up your mind, sir. The restaurant dumps its garbage in five minutes. Then it gets messy. I have me pride, you know. <laughs> Hotel with your pride? You see, it hasn't stopped you from making a living imitating a dead swimmer. <laughs> you certainly know how to hit a, a person's vulnerable spot, sir. That was very cruel, sir. I'm sorry, old chap. I didn't mean to be cruel. Well, well you're just overlooking the final, finer points of my, my, my profession, sir. Now, take in mind a coal miner. You ever see a coal miner when he comes home at night? Yes. A, a filthy grime all over his body, soot in his nostrils and his ears, a grit in his teeth. It's disgusting. <laughs> or, or a barber, for that matter. Clippings of other people's hair and his hands. Oh, you know, gets in his bread, in his soup. It's nauseating. Yes, but would well, you know where a surgeon puts his fingers? Oh, please. Or a farmer puts his feet? Oh. Well, sir, it stands to reason that sooner or later, anyone at his job is bound to touch something filthy. Now, now, me, on the other hand, I deal with water. Water is clean, water is wet. It's purifying. When I come home at night, I don't have to take a bath because I've already done it. Can you say the same, sir? I don't suppose you want me to discuss with you my toilet habits. <laughs> my God, you're infuriating. There must be a carriage around here somewhere. 
Cabby? You'll regret Cabby? it. Cabby? You'll regret it. You'll be back here one night, bored to tears, dying to see you drowning, and I won't be here. In fact, in fact, this week's my last week, sir. This Sunday's my last night. Next week I'm in Yorker. There's a policeman over there. If you don't leave me alone, I'm going to call him over here. I'll have you arrested for soliciting. Soliciting? I'm not soliciting. I'm part of the maritime entertainment business. <laughs> drowning is not maritime entertainment, my good man. <laughs> <laughs> Officer! Officer! I'm going, I'm going. But I'll say this one thing. The joining business isn't what it used to be. Can I help you, sir? Yes, you may. Sir. There's, there's a man over there, sir, behind the dock. There. He's been pestering me all evening, you see. You wouldn't, you wouldn't imagine what he's been talking to me about. I wouldn't be surprised if he's deranged. A lot of bad characters around these docks a lot, sir. A gentleman like yourself shouldn't be wondering about it. Say, what was he pestering you about? Well, you might think it a bit strange, but uh, he wanted me to pay three rubles for his own drowning. Can three you imagine? Three rubles? <laughs> well, it's right. It's not worth more than 60 kopecks. What? You can get as far as drowning as you want to see and not pay a penny more. Three rubles. Oh, but God, obviously, it's not a matter of price, you see. It's just the whole concept of... A man coming up to me and, you know, offering drowning to Three rubles? Me. I... Why, the other day, 14 men acted out an entire shipwreck. And on a good day, you can get a whole navy going down. Oh, good God. Stick to your navy. price, sir, and have a good evening. Get your money's worth. My money's worth? Oh, it's come. It's finally come. The day the world has gone star-craving mad has finally come. Psst. Ah! Psst. Excuse oh. me, sir. I, I noticed the officer left. What did you tell him, sir? Tell him I told him the truth, that you're mentally unbalanced. Unfortunately, he's a bit more mentally unbalanced than you are. Well, but still, I, I appreciate you not, not causing me any trouble. And in gratitude, I'm going to reduce my price to an all-time low. To, to 80 kopecks, sir. 80? 80, 80? 80 kopecks? You thief! You wretched, conniving, deceiving little thief. I wouldn't pay you a single more than 60. 60? 60 kopecks for a drowning? But where's my profit? 40 alone goes for the towels, and the other 40 goes for the fellow who fishes me out of the water. I'd be losing money on it, sir. You can't well, what's cheat the point? Me. I may as well stay under there, huh? You can't cheat me, sir. 60 kopecks for the drowning. Take it or leave it. You're a hard man, sir. A hard man indeed. 60 kopecks it is. 60 kopecks. All right, uh... I will pay you now. Good. Just in case. So they hope my son doesn't go to a drum. Now, where shall I stand? There's your money. Yeah, right at the edge, sir. Right over here. That's where the action is. Right down there. It's rather dark down there, Chap. Are you sure I'll be able to see? Well, that's what makes it so eerie, you know. The eerier, the more entertaining. Yes, you see, uh, um, let me see. There's a nice and dark spot right over there. Look, uh, here I go. Just watch out for me. I almost forgot here. When I come up for the third time, I want you to yell at the top of your lungs, Popnachevsky! Popnachevsky! Like that. Who's Popnachevsky? Well, well, he's the fellow who jumps in after me, you see. I can't, I can't swim, sir. You can't swim? Yeah. Are you trying to tell me you're going to drown yourself without knowing how to swim? Well, you know, it makes it more exciting, sir. But Popnachevsky always waits to the last minute before he pulls me out. He's over in the restaurant, sir, having a drink. Popnachevsky. Don't forget the name, sir. Yeah, well, I hope you, hope you enjoy the show. And if you like it, tell your friends, all right? Well, in the soup, as we say. Good night, sir. Ah! 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 Over here a bit, old chap. I, I can't see you. Well, it's very much out of there. Yes, yes. That's very good, old chap. Yes. But can you, can you drown now? Yes, I'd like to see you drown now, if I may. Oh, Kevin, where have you, where have you gone? Where the devil is he? Oh, there you, there you are, Sam. Ah. Oh, I'd like to see you drown now, sir. <laughs> That's the third time, isn't it? Oh, oh, good heaven. What was that fellow's name? Is it a pot of whiskey? A pot of whiskey? Pot of whiskey? No. Piccadilly! That's a sweet, isn't it? Mr. S Mr. Smith? Oh, 